Hello friends, have you ever experienced that amount of time usually between having a dream and taking action? From my own experience, it's usually filled with a lot of fear, procrastination and seeking motivation. We're usually fearful of the dream ahead of us if it feels a bit scary, right? And I think that fear is very normal because you're trying to figure out the first steps, you know, like how do I pick it up? How do I begin? There's a lot of uncertainty and doubt so it's allowed it's allowed you are allowed to have fear we usually procrastinate a lot during that period and we are thinking maybe i'll do this thing tomorrow maybe i'll have more strength to do it tomorrow maybe i'll have the guts to face it tomorrow so you push it tomorrow you push it to next week to next month next year and it's also very easy to get stuck seeking motivation in that stage the truth is motivation actually pumps us up and we believe that we can do it. We actually believe that we can do that thing that we are so fearful of. So that's why we spend a lot of time seeking motivation. But the question is, how much motivation do we really need to take action? Taking action for sure is uncomfortable. I, I admit that. If the goal is to start working out, we can even make excuses like, I don't have the right gym wear. And usually this is us just avoiding taking action because if we really wanted actually we can use whatever clothes we have available until we get uncomfortable with being in those clothes and now we take the action of buying clothes so if we are motivated enough to do that workout it doesn't matter what clothes you have really it doesn't i think that phase of seeking motivation is a trap because you know as i said it pumps us up and we can actually get lost in that state of you know wanting to hear what people who have gone ahead of us have achieved how they did it but when do, when are we going to do it for ourselves when do we actually start taking that action so today let's talk about that fear of taking action what do we really need to do so let's consider these five things the first thing is to start your day positively Start your day with things that energize you, whether it's taking a walk, whether it's having a nutritious breakfast, you know, those small things that keep you psyched and give you the vibes to start the day. And let me tell you, these routines can set such a positive vibe for the day, you won't believe it. I think having a routine that works for you is easy and even sustainable because if we are depending on motivation, it means every day we have to find someone who is talking about that thing that we want to pursue. And being a person who has been there before and once in a while falls into that trap, I know that you can even get tired of watching those things, right? If you are relating in any way, please leave a comment down below. So find your thing that works for you in the morning. Start your day on a positive note and that acts like motivation for you. It's you creating something for yourself, so it's easy to sustain as compared to motivation. And you can actually switch them up. Maybe today you decide, I want to start with a very nice warm cup of coffee. The next day you're like, I want to work from outside. The next day you start your day with, with a walk. You know, switch it up so that it feels fresh every morning. But the bottom line is having a routine that works for you. Number two is breaking down that big goal into small chewable chunks. When you break it down, you are encouraged actually seeing that it can be done. It's actually something that is not as big as we had imagined it to be. Maybe after analyzing that big goal of yours, the first step is maybe to make a call to someone. And um, for sure, for sure, making calls can be scary. But imagine that can be like five minutes of your day and that's done. So the first step is actually done. That means you actually have a first win for your big goal with that you are so motivated to take the next step so you focus on small victories as you build the confidence to face the next task that comes the third thing i think is very important is to have a supportive network or supportive people in your corner it's so easy to get comfortable with not taking action if we don't have people who can hold us accountable we should have people we can talk to about our fears our insecurities that are attached to that action that we want to take. So one of my goals for this year is to read a book monthly. And I know that it's a good thing for me. I know it's benefits. But the thing is, I know it's possible also to not take action. It's possible to delay, you know, to delay the process, to delay the starting. So one thing that is holding me accountable is having people who have the same goal 
and actually ask me how far are you with the book you know are you done have you started the next one that's the kind of accountability i am talking about so those people will cheer you on and the worries that you have will actually feel less overwhelming and you ease your way into the steps into taking action as you talk about it and i think this is why it's so important to take into consideration the people that you surround yourself with they should be people who pour into you positively because if it's someone who is talking you out of taking an action that's supposed to get you closer to your dreams then they have no business being around you right these people will take note of when you're getting stuck somewhere and actually suggest even ways for you to come out of it now this fourth point you have to ditch comparing yourself to others everyone is progressing at their own pace right the most prevalent thing that happens when you compare yourself is noticing that people are ahead of you which is true because they started before you they are ahead of us because they took their first steps way back we fail to take action because we think it won't be as good as someone else's surely it's unfair to compare your step 1 to someone's step 1000 or 3000 the only person we should be comparing ourselves to is ourselves because that means we will be showing up as better versions of ourselves today than we did yesterday Now the sixth thing that is more like a bonus is to reward yourself along the way. We want taking action to be something that you do with a lot of excitement. Remember that in as much as you are seeking to achieve your goals, you are also trying to seek some adventure out of it. I hope so. If you work from home, rewarding yourself could look like going to a nearby restaurant and work from there in the afternoon. I'm a firm believer that Every day we live we are at least if you're seeking to improve yourself we are always manipulating our minds so that we do better for ourselves so a reward system is a good way to start because our minds work on rewards you know if something feels rewarding that's what we are geared towards that's what we have the energy to do so making your steps or your actions as memorable and as adventurous as they can be keeps you motivated to keep doing that thing so make sure that your reward is tied to the work that you do so that it's not distracting at the end of the day having goals and dreams is good but it all boils down to taking action i hope this was helpful it means a lot when you give these videos a thumbs up so please do that and see you in one of my other videos peace